Time for clips and quips. A New Jersey man mistakenly sent a text message about a drug deal to a 10-year-old boy. And not just any 10-year-old boy. Police say the text this man sent actually went to the son of a New Jersey police officer. Lieutenant Eric Danielson of the Sparta, New Jersey Police Department took over, messaging the dealer back and forth to set up a sting. They agreed to meet at a pizzeria where the dealer didn't get any pizza. He got handcuffs instead. Yeah. Yeah, Walter White would never do that. Walter White. Okay, crickets. One person yeah. at this desk knows what I'm talking about. Is yeah. that part of your Breaking Bad? Yes, my Breaking Bad. Oh, okay. I got it. Do you know yeah. what Breaking Bad is? Yes, We're I on do. on the same page? Sure. Okay. I, thought it was I haven't seen it. You're on the wrong page. But he's a, he's a drug dealer, but he does meth? Don't even worry about okay. it. Okay. Onward. <laughs> a new study finds police, a people, I am still got police in my mind, Let's start over again. One more time. Good morning. Oh, no, well, don't go that Is this a best-of show? <laughs> I don't think so. A new study finds people are more generous in their wine pouring than they may realize. It found that people pour about 12% more than a normal serving without even realizing it. And I bet more, more of them don't even care about that. Well, and apparently, if we overpour, they say, if the glass is wide and the wine is white. We do a better job if the proper pour is involved with a glass that's on the table as opposed to one you're holding in your hand. We also pour more accurately if the wine is red, they say, in contrast to the clear glass. Researchers say knowing all this may be able to help you control how much alcohol and calories you're taking in. With that study, I'm just thinking now our producer, Christopher, doesn't he drink white wine in jugs? <laughs> <laughs> At least it's not in a box. Yeah, I was going to say, when it's in a plastic bag, that doesn't quite count as a jug. <laughs> hmm. That's true. I think he goes for the whitest yeah. and the <laughs> clearest. That makes sense, though, about the red. I mean, you don't yeah. want to spill it. Mm -hmm. And if you have a large glass, you tend to, you don't want to, you want right, to give it a little like more. Right, it looks like nothing's yeah, in it. Yeah, right. I don't think so most don't people get, care. So don't though. get those big glasses. I think they're I quite all right with that. Yep. Well, have another check of the forecast coming up after the break. You're watching KRCG 13 live at sunrise. Time for clips and quips, and it might be the best resignation noticed ever. It's a different one. On Saturday, writer Marina Schifrin, who happens to be a Mizzou graduate, uploaded an epic video onto YouTube. It's this one here with a simple message for her boss, she quits. The 25-year-old worked at Next Media Animation, a Taiwanese animator. In the video set to Kanye's Gone, she dances around her office at odd hours of the night while describing exactly why she needs to leave her job. The message, for almost two years, she says, she sacrificed relationships, time and energy for the job. And her boss only cares about quantity and how many views each video gets. So she figured she'd make one video of her own. A lot of people have differing opinions on this. Um, you know, uh, I posted on my Facebook page yesterday and people said, you know, that's part of, you know, a first job or, you know, the first mm -hmm. couple of years. and. Or it, any may, job. It, it may <laughs> give her some problems getting another job. Yeah, I'd say so. Yeah. I guess that there was a video that came out afterwards yeah. from the people that she worked with, and they were all dancing and singing around, and then at the end said, we're hiring. So that well, was in response to her video. Eight million views. Yeah. I think the worst thing is now everyone knows the secret. We have dance parties at 4.40 in the morning every yeah. day. And we set up cameras. Yeah, there you she go. revealed it. <laughs> True. <laughs> On a more serious note, the Make-A-Wish Foundation has helped a seven-year-old boy become a crime fighter for a day. The Anaheim, California Police Department presented this guy, Alex Lalona, with his own crime-fighting costume, Robin, sidekick of Alex's favorite superhero, Batman. Boy, look at the smile on his face. <laughs> Alex spent the day with Batman. He got to ride in an old Adam West-style bat style Batmobile and fighting crime. He suffers from leukemia. At the end of the day, he also got a ride in a helicopter to nearby Angel Stadium. Those are such good stories. Yeah, yeah, really. Batman and Robin were fighting pirates. That sounds they were amazing. <laughs> sounds like a day you want to have. <laughs> I'm doing it this that. weekend. Just look at that look. Okay. Just fighting pirates? Yeah. Batman and Robin. Okay. That's Zach's Great. normal weekend. That's what you know. That's weird. Mm -hmm. yep. <laughs> All right, well, here's the look at who's celebrating a birthday right here in the heart of Missouri.